London Palladium. Hello there. What a huge night. What a hu this is actually, I'll be honest with you, this is a huge week for me. I am 16 years with my wife this week. Thank you. 16 years ago, I met her in the first term of university. I saw her across the student bar, and I'm sorry to get schmulsy, but this is the truth. I saw her across the student bar, and I knew in that moment, I am probably not going to do much better than that. <laughs> uh, what a sweetie, right? But 16 years... Anyone in this room who's in a long-term relationship will tell you there are no tricks. It's just hard work and love that keeps a marriage together for that long. There's a couple of tips. Like, there is a couple of tips. I'm happy to share a couple of them with you tonight. Number one, fellas. Number one, never make a sound of any sort when attempting to lift up your wife. No noise. No noise is acceptable. Not even a little, uh, nothing. <laughs> and it can't register on the face either. It's no use not making the noise and then having your face go, you can't, that doesn't work. You have to develop a facial screensaver of sorts, lads. You apply the screensaver before you go for the lift, tight core, all legs. Up she goes, and then it's toddle, 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 toddle. <laughs> slide. The slide is important, fellas. The slide is important. Don't drop. Don't drop on the bed. The urge will be to drop and get out of pain. Don't do that. <laughs> slide onto the bed. Don't look around for a high five. There's nobody there to give you a high five, lads. <laughs> I, know <you've laughs> I know you've experienced this before, but never, ever should you throw something to your wife. <laughs> never do it. Never do it. Even if she says... Throw me the remote control. Don't do it. Get up off your arse, walk over to her seat, put it down next to her and return to yours because you will only ever be accused of flinging it at her. <laughs> Solid stuff. This is one I've learned recently, only recently. Do listen up. Never ever, fellas, should you sneak into a room that she's in in the house. Never sneak into a room that she's in, put your hand over her mouth, and drag her out of the room. <laughs> Never do that. <laughs> Particularly if she doesn't know you're home yet, right? <laughs> it's not a sexy role play, apparently. <laughs> Some of these are life lessons you're going to leave here tonight and you're never going to forget. Here's, here's another one. If she ever comes home and says to you, Oh my God, I've got big news. Wait till you hear my story from work. Put down the bag of crisps. <laughs> Guys, seriously, crisps are the worst food to eat if you're attempting to look like you're taking a story seriously. <laughs> it is nearly physically impossible. You can try, you could try, you could try. God, guys, you're such a lovely crowd. I have to go, but if I leave you with one final tip, let it be this. If your lady ever squints and smiles at you at the end of a sentence, that sentence ceases to be true, and the opposite is now the case. <laughs> Most of the men in the room are already familiar with this. I'll explain it. It looks a bit like this. Yeah, Jar, I think you should go to the pub and watch the football for the rest of the day. <laughs> Have a little day for yourself down there, and I'll stay here looking after everything by myself, because I love doing that. 